So a few recordings ago, I spoke about the importance of being able to broaden your vision and realize that the decisions that you make, the actions that you take, the things that you say, the things that you don't say, the things that you don't do, it all has an impact or it all could potentially have an impact on other people. So in that recording, I said, work on yourself, understand that it's important to make yourself a priority, but realize that bettering yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, it's going to have an impact far greater than the impact that it's just going to have on you. There's people who you may know, people close to you, friends, family, and strangers even, people who you don't even know, who could potentially have a direct impact or could directly be impacted, I should say, by you bettering yourself or by you deciding not to better yourself, by you deciding to engage in activities that harm you. It's not just about you. There's people who are directly impacted by those decisions that you make. So bettering yourself and deciding I'm going to take steps forward in the right direction to become the best version of myself so I can grow and get better and improve, not only for me, but for other people, because I know that the people closest to me or even strangers in some cases are going to be impacted by those decisions, by those actions in some capacity. While I was editing that last recording, it got me thinking about this topic and I want to expand on it and talk about it in a new light because I just think it's so important. I think a lot of people are very self-centered and very self-absorbed and they may be in pursuit of growth and they may have a goal that they're pursuing, but they only really care about themselves. They only care about getting whatever it is they want for them. They want to experience things that they want to experience and that's it. And they don't really care about who is impacted in the process of getting themselves to the places that they want to go. And I've spoken about this before, but if you have a goal or something that you're visualizing, something that you want to happen, something that you want to experience, see how you getting there is going to impact other people in a positive way. Wish other people well while you're on your journey to growth and watch how quickly you get to the places that you want to go to. When you elevate other people while you yourself are elevating and growing and becoming better, watch how quickly you get to the places that you want to get to. Because when we give and we help other people, it elevates our energy, which allows us to seek new opportunities to help us get to where it is we want to go. It's a superpower. And I preach this all the time. Give, provide value to other people, see how much of a positive impact it's going to have on other people but i've noticed especially in this self-development community people are so focused on getting what it is they want for them and although i'm not against it of course you should grow and make yourself a priority and i'll be the first person to say sometimes it's important to put yourself first and and be selfish and do things for you and say no to certain people and and just really focus on you making yourself the priority and and just doing things for you of course i'll be the first person to say that but there's a very fine line between doing that and also not realizing the impact that the things that you do or the things that you say the things that you don't say the things that you don't do the impact that it's going to have on other people because the things that you do simply put are going to have an effect on other people and i've said it before but these people you don't even know these people some of the people who are going to be directly impacted by the things that you do you may not even know them personally but they'll still be affected by it you may know these people personally but you may not so there's a very fine line between taking action being selfish and making yourself a priority and doing things for you going after your goals for you but also realize that there's other people in this equation as well and people you don't even think about but they are going to be impacted by the things that you do and the things that you don't do, the way that you move, the way that you carry yourself. I've applied this in my life, and this is a, I guess you could say it's like a method, I don't know, but this is something that I've applied in my life, and it's helped me a lot in terms of me connecting with what it would feel like to have the things that I want or see for my life. So anybody who's listening to this 
probably knows i'm building presence of being i see presence of being being this massive community this massive brand and a brand around presence mindfulness self-development community that is really important to me and that's what i see presence of being being this massive community where we can all get together and focus on presence and everything that comes with living a present lifestyle when i visualize that end goal of what i see presence of being being and everything that i see us doing as a community i don't just visualize how i'm gonna feel i don't just visualize me celebrating the success that i see myself having of course not i see the community being impacted positively by the things that we do i see other people their lives changing by the kind of things that we do i don't just visualize the success for me in the way that i'm going to feel i visualize how everything that we do as a community is going to impact other people within the community in a really positive way i visualize presence of being having an impact on people all over the world like that's what i see for presence of being it's not just about me it's not just about sam although it's part of that it's not the main component i see what we're doing as having an impact on people i don't even know i would be lying if i said that i don't visualize how everything that we're building is going to have an impact on my life and the things that i'm going to be able to do but that's also important i also think you should get clear on that and realize that that is important you should get clear about the kind of things that you want for your life but i also visualize the impact that presence of being is going to have on people i don't even know and the kind of things that they're going to be able to do with their life by learning about presence and learning about the importance of living a present lifestyle and being able to promote that lifestyle and that has nothing to do with me that just has what to do with the kind of things that we're building do you get what i'm saying it's not just about me i visualize others success and others winning so it's not just about me. Of course, there's a component and I've gotten clear about what it is I want for my life. But I also have gotten clear about what I see, the kind of things that I'm building, the kind of impact that that's going to have on other people as well. And that goes far beyond just me, as I've said. So if you are in pursuit of a certain goal, or maybe you're visualizing your end scene, something that you would like to experience, and you're You've gotten really clear about what it is you want and you feel it. You feel like you have it now and you do all the things that you're supposed to do. Are you just doing it for you? Are you just experiencing it for you? Or within that visualization, for example, are you seeing how it's going to impact the, your friends, your family, the people closest to you? If you want to build something great, if you want to build something that's going to make an impact on millions of people or whatever it is, are you visualizing that positive impact that it's going to have on those people? Think about this. Are you just focusing on you or are you focusing on the impact that you see yourself having for other people? If it's something small that you want to manifest still, how is it going to impact other people in a positive way? Whatever it is you want, I'm sure you can connect it to making a positive impact on other people in some way, shape or form, as well as the impact that it's just going to have on you. Try it out and see how you feel, number one, and see how things start to unfold just because you're not being as selfish. You're being selfless and really expanding your vision. The more your vision impacts other people in a positive way, the quicker it's going to come. At least that's in my experience. When I set my intention to make a positive impact on somebody else, and this could be in conversation or me just walking past somebody, if I can just send good energy so it to, in some way shape or form to somebody else i feel elevated my energy feels heightened and that i'm able to take that energy and go create something with it or do something with it or give it to somebody else in a positive way and all those things accelerate my vision all those things promote me feeling this elevated level of energy which is productive energy energy that i can use to help build something or create something and it's just this positive cycle and it all comes from setting the intention to provide value to somebody else or give to somebody else give positive energy to somebody else so try it out don't just make the things that you're doing about you obviously there's a component to that but also expand your vision and see how you can make a positive impact on other people as well
So as I said, I was editing that last recording, I was piecing it all together, and I thought, you know what, maybe I should speak a little bit more about this because I think it's important. And when I was thinking about what broadening your vision really means and not just focusing on you, focusing on other people, the impact that the things that you do are going to have on other people, it led me to empathy and the importance of empathy. And that's what I really want to talk about and highlight in this recording. Now, I think a lot of people assume empathy is just like intellectual and just understanding what somebody else is thinking, but I think it goes a lot deeper than that. I think being truly empathetic is resonating with how somebody else is feeling on a deep level and allowing yourself to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and seeing how they feel in a particular circumstance, putting yourself into that feeling. And I think a very overlooked component of empathy from at least the things that I've read and seen is the importance of presence within empathy. And I'm sure if you consume my content, you know that this eventually was going to creep in at some stage, but presence is so essential, at least in my eyes, when it comes to empathy, because how are you truly able to resonate with what somebody else is thinking or feeling on an emotional level? when you aren't even present yourself. Like if you are stuck in your head all the time, constantly thinking, thinking about the things that you need to say or the things that you should say or the things that you're about to say, if you're in a conversation with someone who's expressing themselves to you, how are you able to really connect with how they're feeling if you're in your head all the time? Like you can't. So many people live life constantly thinking going from the next thought to the next thought to the next thought without allowing themselves to be present and if you're not present at least in my eyes you can't truly be empathetic because you're in your head constantly if you have this constant stream this constant inner dialogue of random thoughts how are you able to connect with yourself and the person who you're interacting with the person you're talking with on a deep feeling level And it goes beyond even you understanding somebody and the things that they're saying. It 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 goes beyond that. It goes beyond the things that they're communicating to you verbally. How are you gonna be able to read somebody else's body language and their energy, send somebody else's energy if you're not in tune with your own energy, if you're not in tune with your own presence, which happens when you're present, right? Like if you're not present within your body, if you're not present within yourself if you're not calm and present in your mind, or at least getting to a state in which you are becoming more present, you're not going to be able to read somebody else's body language. You're not going to be able to read the room. You're not going to be able to see the kind of energy that they're giving off. If you want to be empathetic to the highest degree possible, at least in my opinion, I think you should be present within yourself and calm within your mind and your body. So you're able to read the room, read their energy, read their body language, and also be able to understand the things that they're communicating to you verbally in a better way. Because you're not going to be in your own head, stuck in your own head, thinking about the things that you should say or how you should respond. It's just going to flow naturally when you're present within yourself. One of the most beautiful things that makes human beings human beings is that we can empathize with other people, other humans. But I think... If you want to go a step beyond and really be able to truly empathize with what somebody else is feeling, it starts with you. And it starts with you being present in your mind, in your body. So you can, like I said, not only listen to the things that they're saying, but put yourself in their shoes by reading their body language and reading their energy and the kind of energy that they're giving off. It starts with you. It starts with you being present. At the end of the day, We do not know what anybody else is going through. The person who you interact with at the grocery store, a work colleague, someone that you just pass by walking on the street. Everybody's living their own life. Everybody has their own problems. Everybody's doing their own thing, has their own goals. So if you can just provide value in the smallest of ways even, if you can just give to somebody, if you can be kind, give a smile, or just allow someone to experience your presence, your energy in a comforting manner, like that's going to go, like you have no idea the impact that that could have on that person tying back to the point I made at the beginning of this recording. The kind of things that you do are going to have an impact on other people, period. So 
just like any skill, working on your ability to empathize with other people, I think it starts with you. If you can connect with your own presence, if you can stop thinking constantly, if you can just be in your own body, be in your own presence, so, you, so you're able to really engage with the other person who you're empathizing with and sense their body language, really connect with the things that they're saying on a deep emotional feeling level, that's when you're going to be able to provide as much value as you can. Energy speaks first. Before anybody says anything, energy speaks. You're able to pick up on that energy if you're in tune with your own energy. You're going to be able to help somebody to a much higher degree if you're connected with your own energy. And that's going to only enable you to be more empathetic. So this is, I guess, kind of like a part two to the A Cause Greater Than Self recording. If you haven't listened to that, you can go listen to that. I made it... uh, a week ago or so but yeah i hope this recording has provided some sort of value just be empathetic if somebody wants to communicate with you don't just listen to the things that they're saying see how their energy comes off see their body language really connect with yourself so you're able to do those things be present within yourself so you're able to pick up on their energy try it out and also realize that you working on yourself and making yourself a priority is important because it's going to have an impact on people far greater than yourself. There's a fine line between being selfish, making yourself a priority, and doing things for you, working on things for you, and not going overboard where you forget the fact that there's other people directly impacted by the things that you do and the things that you don't do. So this is just a little reminder episode, a little reminder recording. I hope it has helped and provided you with some sort of value that is always the goal if it did let me know you can always dm me on instagram at presence of being i read all my messages so if you have any comments or questions i'm more than happy to chat over there if you haven't yet i would greatly appreciate it if you leave a review on the podcast that would mean a lot to me and follow the podcast subscribe to the youtube and yeah i'm just very grateful to have you all a part of the community and Let me know what kind of recordings or episodes you would like to hear from me. And thank you again for listening, and I will see you in the next recording.